Hey, what's going on everybody? I wanted to talk to you today about getting Hardware 3. I mentioned that I am upgrading to Hardware 3. I'm actually going tomorrow and I have had tons of questions on how I got the upgrade and how Tesla let me come in for it and all of that kind of stuff. So I wanted to go over it with you. I actually already recorded this video, um, but I forgot to hit record on my GoPro, which is my audio and like you don't want to just stare at my face in the car the whole time. So here is some nice driving footage I will put in the background as we talk about this. So if you don't know, Hardware 3 or as Tesla calls it now, the full self-driving computer is the latest chip from Tesla used to make decisions with autopilot and it has all the fancy stuff needed for the car to drive it itself pretty much. Older Model 3s and Model S's and Model X's were shipped with Hardware 2.5, uh, which has all the same sensors on the car, all the cameras and things are the same, but the computer chip behind the glove box, at least in the Model 3, I'm not sure where it is on the S and X, is not as powerful. It's made by NVIDIA, and Tesla came out with their own chip. It's much more powerful. It's designed in-house. And so as part of the full self-driving package, if you bought that, if you have Hardware 2.5 in your car, you get a free upgrade to Hardware 3. Real quick, if you don't know if you have Hardware 2.5 or Hardware 3, the easiest way to tell is if you see cones on your display, traffic cones like the orange cones or barrels will show up as cones, whatever, that means you have Hardware 3. If you can't see those cones, that means you have Hardware 2.5. It's as simple as that. So Tesla has been saying this whole time, your VIN will be assigned when it's ready for Hardware 3. So they have all these computer chips and they are assigning them to VINs with uh, your name. They also say your name is attached, which is kind of strange to me, but whatever. Um, and they say, we will contact you when your car is ready. Well, as far as I know, nobody has been contacted. Pretty much every Hardware 3 upgrade that I've heard of anyway is somebody getting service on something else. And then at the time, Tesla goes, oh, by the way, since you're here, we're going to upgrade you to Hardware 3. So we'll do that for you and get that squared away. So I've seen a lot of examples of this on Twitter from Tesla Raj and Tesla Joy and some other people. And they said, oh, I'm getting Hardware 3. And then everybody piles on, oh, did Tesla contact you or did you go in for service? And every story, like I've said, uh, the person says, oh, I went in for this other issue and they let me know. So I wanted to try this out um, and I feel kind of bad about it, but I want my hardware three and if this is the way to do it, then I wanted to try. So I was looking for an issue with my car and you know, I've had it almost a year and I had one issue when I first picked it up with a door handle that was messed up, but mobile service fixed that. And I haven't had anything wrong with it since. So I've been looking for something. And one thing is when you're supercharging in the cold, if you're not from a cold region, the battery makes some pretty concerning noises uh, when you're supercharging. I guess there's some sheet metal under there. I can show you uh, the text message, I think. And I guess as the temperature is changing, that sheet metal will flex and make some banging noises. But anyway, um, I know that there's a service bulletin for this and there is a part they can change. So I just put in the mobile service request in the app. I figure it's not that big of a deal if they don't wanna do something for me or there's nothing they can do they just simply click cancel and let me know hey there's no fix for this so then they say mobile service is going to come out which i don't think mobile service can do anything about that but whatever i'll let them come out that's fine so mobile service comes out and he says all right i got three things for you uh number one is your badge and i already had my badge like the dual motor badge on the back of the car and he said well that's strange i see you have it so we'll skip that he said number two is uh, dead fronts. So here's a picture of the old dead fronts. He let me keep them. Uh, they come out of the charge port and there's just these little black pieces of plastic and there's a new design because the old ones would come loose and then get stuck in your charger or whatever. But you know, ask me about that in the comments. We will move on to hardware three. And then he said, all right, well your battery, uh, there's really nothing we can do about that. He said that there are some breathers that they can replace, but he thought my car uh, may be new enough that it already had the new ones. Um, but I think my car's date is right on the edge. And so then I said to him, I was like, you know, honestly, I just want my hardware three. And that's part of why I booked this. I was like, the noises were concerning because to be honest, they were really loud. And I know that the car makes noises, but they were like, I was like jumping, they were so loud. And he said, oh, well, you know, it's up to your VIN and there's nothing we can do about that. You know, if you're on the list, then you're on the list. Um, Tesla pushes out these VINs in big batches. Uh, and we just had a batch this month and the next big batch comes next month. So in February, 2020. And I said, so does Tesla contact you? And he goes, no, for now, Tesla is not gonna contact you about it. Uh, if you come in for some other service, then they'll let you know. And that's the first I've heard that Tesla is always saying, oh, we'll let you know when it's ready. And I'm not surprised that they're not doing that. And so I asked him, would you mind checking, you know, if my VIN is up and he goes, oh yeah, no problem. It just takes a second, let's go. And, and we went over to his car and he showed me on the computer where he looks it up. And he says, you know, I haven't seen any Model 3s from Michigan on the list yet, so you're most likely not on the list. And he pulls up my car and there it is. It says uh, mandatory service, I think is what it said. Uh, full self-driving computer retrofit is what it said. And so he goes, whoa, okay, this is actually the first Model 3 I've seen in Michigan. He goes, so you're pretty lucky there. 
He said, so you must have been part of the big January batch. There's going to be one more big batch pushed out next month again in February. And so I said, oh, okay, so can I get my, you know, hardware three installed? And he goes, yeah, just go in your app now and set up the appointment and they will get you taken care of. So then I go in the app, set up my appointment, and that was that. Um, I had set up an appointment in December for Hardware 3, and they just sent me, you know, a little snarky message about, you know, we'll let you know, and we're going to put this on hold until you acknowledge this message. And I didn't want to keep bugging them because of that message, um, but since he told me to schedule it, I did. And that's it. It worked really easily. Um, and now I'm going tomorrow, January 27th, I will be going and I will record that process and everything, of course. Service in Michigan is uh, not the most convenient. I have to go down to Toledo, which for me is maybe an hour and a half. You know, it's not that far. Um, but I'm really excited to get my Hardware 3. I wanted to share that with everybody. And if you have any more questions about that, let me know. Um, that should be it. It's pretty straightforward. So there's nothing you can do to get on the list. So if you contact the service center and you're not on the list, uh, there's nothing you can do about that. Now, I've heard some people say they convinced the manager to, you know, do their upgrade. But my personal thought is that they were on the list and the person didn't want to do it. And then they said, okay, fine. And, <laughs> but, you know, there's no way to know for sure. Um, but from my understanding, that list comes from, you know, the mothership. And if you're not on that list, the service center, they can't do anything for you. So if you request and they say, no, that's, you know, you're not on the list, that's it. But this does make me want to recommend that, oh, don't kill me, Tesla, uh, recommend that once a month you ask. You know, I'm conflicted on this because I don't want to put that out there and then have this big annoyance for Tesla. But at the same time, I know people are excited. And like, how hard can it be for them to just deny your request once a month? Uh, it's just like on the computer. So I don't know. I'll leave that up to you. Of course, you can do whatever you like. Um, that is not my official recommendation. I, I wouldn't do that. But um, I think that this is really going to be upgrading fast for everybody because I think soon we're going to start seeing more features that are hardware three specific. For now, it's only visualizations. There's no function really that you're missing. Um, but, you know, when I like have a channel and I'm trying to share with everybody, it's nice to have the latest and greatest. So anyway, that's it. That's my experience. People have just been asking me a million things. So Tesla did not contact me. I had to kind of force my way to figure out my VIN was on and then I scheduled the appointment. So if you have any more questions, just leave them below and you will see me in the next video.